Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to today's edition of The Fishing Teacher, and thanks for coming by the channel to spend some time with me watching the video. Always uh, very grateful for that. And guys, today I'm gonna show you one of my favorite ways to fish a zoom speed craw that you probably never fished before. This is a technique that works really good this time of year. I'm gonna show you guys how to rig it and really talk about the type of areas to fish it in, and I think it's gonna add up to some good fish for you guys over the next couple months. I'm also, guys, quick invitation out there, anyone interested in booking an on-the-water lesson with me, you can do that by going to my Facebook page, Randy Block, a professional angler, and just shoot me a private message for info on that. And uh, check that out, it'd be much appreciated. Okay guys, here's the setup that I'm gonna talk about. This is going to be a zoom speed crawl on a jig head. Now, most people, when they talk about the speed crawl, they either flip it, Texas rig, you know, just you know, straight pitching it and flipping it, or a lot of people use it as a swim jig trailer, a swim jig trailer, and then some people also use it on a Carolina rig. But I want to talk a little bit about how I like to fish it in March, April, and May a lot of times this time of year. And that's what I do is I just take the regular speed craw and I just basically cut it, cut, cut the body in half right at the midpoint where it's just a little short craw like that. And then take a jig head. This right here is, this is a uh, um, dual jig head here. You know, any type of a weedless jig head, you know, anywhere between a uh, quarter ounce to maybe five sixteenths, something like that with some type of a finesse hook. Also guys, I'll link all this equipment up in my Tackle Warehouse links if you guys wanna get some of this, uh, you know, try, try it out, you can use those links and get it. But anyway, with this half of craw, come in through it and you wanna come all the way out, you know, through the very end of the craw, through the bottom of the craw like that. Then rig it up there, put it up on your jig head. And guys, this little tidbit right here, this little tidbit craw, look at that. Does that not look edible to you guys right there? Most crawdads that bass prefer are in this range, two and a half to three inch range. That's the size they love. And guys, this right here, this little tidbit will get you some bites. Now, the areas I like to fish it in, uh, first of all, you gotta have the right water clarity. This is sort of a clean water bait. So you need water visibility of at least three feet. I prefer water visibility of like four to six feet. I usually fish it on like 12 pound test Seaguar and Vizex line. And my favorite areas to fish it in is guys just around rock. It doesn't matter if it's riprap, bluff banks, rocky banks, you know, gravel banks, any type of rock in the springtime of the year. I just cast this thing around, hop it, drag it. You just can't go wrong with it. Uh, my favorite place to fish it in it, are the steep channel banks. Like if you go back in a, you know, back in the creek and you've got like a steep channel bank or you've got a bluff or even a bluff on the main lake, you know, casting this little thing up to the rocks and just, you know, working it down into, you know, 10 to 15, maybe 20 foot of water. It's a really good way to catch them. Um, another good place to fish this is on clear water points. If you guys have, you know, water visibility of clear, of like four foot, get out on all those main and secondary points and just fan cast it. With a heavier head, like the 5 16 this thing falls really quick. You can cover a lot of water with it. And like I said, my favorite way to fish it is just to throw it out there and just hop it back maybe four to six inches off the water. You can also catch them dragging it just like a football head jig. But anyway, guys, give it a try. Just take a little simple, it's a simple deal, a little jig head, put you a speed crawl on it. We'll get you some bites. And like I said, I'll link everything. If you guys want to check it out in my uh, description, Tackle Warehouse link, you can get all this stuff here. Also, I'll link the line I use and everything else with it. So hope it helps to catch some. See you guys.